Doing photography as a hobby has been a truly remarkable thing that has ever happened in my life. Have you ever wondered how these amazing photos were taken? Assalamualaikum and hello to my beloved lecturer, Miss Adira, and my fellow classmates. Today, I will be telling you guys why you should go for mirrorless camera if you are planning to start photography. Therefore, in my speech, I will be explaining in terms of the basic difference, the size and weight, and finally, the image stabilization. No worries, you guys won't have any regrets on choosing your first camera after you listen to my speech. As I mentioned before, today, I will be telling you guys why you should go for mirrorless camera compared to DSLR, which comes to my first point, the basic difference. Firstly, let's start off with the basic difference to give you guys more in-depth of understanding why mirrorless camera is way better compared to DSLR. Indeed, both of the names states the differences between DSLR and mirrorless camera. Now, DSLR cameras on those old SLRs have model designs. They use the mirror and penta, penta prism to bounce light and give different angles to give you the image of the image sensor. As stated by Hadai, it is a part of why DSLRs are heavier and bulkier. Whereas mirrorless camera, it omits those two parts of the camera where it puts double duty within the sensor and both shows and captures images the same as how DSLR does. Therefore, making the mirror and penta prism more compact, lighter and travel friendly. In terms of image quality, both DSLR and mirrorless produce equally and compelling quality images. Depends on how the, light, the lens is used. However, one of these differences may influence new photographers' choices for the camera. Now that you understand how both of the camera works in terms of the basic differences, let's move on to my second point which is the size and weight. Next, the size and weight aspects shows why mirrorless camera is way better than the SLR. Now, DS, the size and weight of the SLR difference in the weight is usually way smaller, right? So, as, men as mentioned by Tim Beach, a Sony A6000 is way smaller compared to a Sony, Sony 700D and this is because the sensor size and consequently the lens weight is different. The SLR are comparatively larger because it needs to fit the prism and mirror themselves. Whereas mirrorless are much smaller which is this because it is lighter due to the flip up due to the absence of a flip up mirror. Now the lenses are smaller too so it makes it easier for you guys to put it in your bags and have more spaces than it does before this. So thus allowing all us new photographers to carry this mirrorless camera in a bag and travel anywhere more easily and more lightly. Now that you understand how cap mirrorless, cameras, mirrorless cameras wins over the size and weight aspects, let's move on to my last point which is the image stabilization. Now, the image stabilization when it comes to choosing your camera has a big role. So remember to always check the image stabilization. Now, shaky hands may produce blurry pictures and zooming more zooming more in pictures and slower shutter speed will result in a more magnified picture now both the slr and mirrorless camera produce a image stabilization machine this senses the monitor camera movement and the object moves slightly in a direction now as stated by prospero for even greater stability Sensor mirrorless camera can both can both the lens to a more nice direction. 
Alright, so over here we have the Olympus OMD and the Sony A7R series. Now these two cameras offers a 5-axis image stabilization guys. And keep in mind, keep in mind that this feature hasn't been done in a DSLR model but only in mirrorless camera because it gives the edge of the mirrorless camera in the more experienced expensive versions. Now from this pro videographers slowly transition into using mirrorless camera so that they can record more smoother and nice videos. Now that you understand how image stabilization works in both of these superb cameras, these are the reasons why you should choose mirrorless camera as the starter kit. All in all, these are the reasons why you should go for mirrorless camera in terms of the basic difference between the SLR, the size and weight, and finally, the image stabilization. I hope that when everyone hears about my speech, they will have no struggles or any bad things when it comes to choosing their first camera. Plus, the camera is an instrument that makes us learn to see things without using a camera. That's all from me. Thank you.